Have you ever looked at somebody that you've came across in school, on social media, somebody that's just out and about, one of your friends, and you thought to yourself, man, I would give up anything to have what you have. I would do anything to be born into the family that you were born into. But would you really? Do you actually know what's behind the curtains or do you only see what's on the outside? Do you only see the car that they're driving? Do you only see the pictures that are posted on their Instagram page? I'm going to tell you right now, I knew a billionaire's son that went to my undergraduate college. And just by the way, uh, he had three Ferraris he could choose from. A red one, a black one, which is a Ferrari FF, or a white Ferrari 488. All cars that are worth more than I'm ever going to be worth by the time I'm 30, 40, 30 or 40 years old, guaranteed. Take a second, make, pause this video. Guess what he complained about all the time. Answer three, two, one. All he would complain about is that I will never ever understand or experience what it's like to work for something. And in eyes like me or yours, that may sound like, oh, that's a great problem to have. But struggles are all relative. The struggles that people went through in the Great Depression or the struggles that people go through in the slums of Mumbai in India are the same, are on the same scale as me and you. Even though they would seem way worse, relatively speaking, all you have to compare to is your own experiences. So whatever you're going through, if you're struggling with something right now, just know, A, give it time. There are phases in life and those phases teach you lessons and will carry you to happiness in the future. If you, let's say, let's say right now you dream of becoming super successful, but let's say you're overweight. Let's say you're addicted to video games. Let's say you have no money. If you suddenly, or let's say you were born into wealth, how would you ever, ever appreciate having any of that? You wouldn't, you would have nothing to compare it to. Life is all about experiences. And if all you want to experience is the positive stuff, it, you will still struggle. Even though to other, in other people's eyes, the struggles you encounter and the struggles you face will look like great struggles to have, it will still be on the same scale of human struggle. The bottom is the bottom and your mental emotions will feel the same as the bottom on somebody else's scale, even though they may be in a horrible situation themselves. So whatever you're going through, just know you're not alone. Even though it may seem like you are, even though it may seem like other people have way better lives, even though you can look at somebody who's born into a family worth $50 million and they have, you know, they're gifted all of these cars, it does not matter. They still have the same emotions as you. They still go through the same struggles. They still wake up and feel anxious, depressed, unmotivated. They don't know their purpose in life. Now, there are times where everyone's also going to experience happiness. Pleasure. Life isn't all suffering, but that's a part of it. And it's not a part where you should complain about that's a part of life because without pain and suffering, there wouldn't be happiness. There would be nothing to compare the emotion of happiness to. So if you're trying to improve yourself, you need to learn to enjoy and appreciate pain and suffering because without that, happiness would not exist. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I go about my days sometimes and I really do not feel good. I feel really, really down. I feel like, what am I even doing? Do I even have that many friends? Like I look at other people who have Instagram posts of a hundred people hanging around them and mine can be three to five to 10. And it's like, oh, am I really anybody? Like I don't even have that many friends. I don't have that much money in comparison to these other, pe other people. I see these people in, in an amazing physical condition and Take a moment and just look at yourself. You are so far ahead of so many people, no matter where you are. Now, if you're truly in seven billionth place on, on the human race, well, then I'm sorry for you. I, I, but the chances of, of that, one of you guys watching my videos, I'm sure those people don't even have access to technology. They probably can't even afford a phone. They can't afford internet. So nobody who is in the seven billionth last place in the human population is going to be watching videos like these. So you're, you are not that. Just know you are not that. So whatever you're going through, just know you are, you're not alone. You're not at the bottom of this scale. You're not the worst off, but everyone still has a relative scale. So do not feel like you know, you're the only one going through this or that. You can look at somebody else's life and just assume that they're better off than you. Assume that they have everything. Because if you had everything, 
again, you still wouldn't be happy if you didn't have pain and suffering com to compare that joy or success or happiness to. So whatever position you're in, if you're super if you're not in a good financial position, if you're not in good shape, if you're not in a good mental status, just appreciate that. Because if you don't, if you didn't have that now, then down the road, when you become successful, when you get in a good shape, when you become the person you want to be, you would have never appreciated or understood what that actually means without being where you are right now. I tell myself that every single day when I'm feeling horrible and I feel horrible all the time, even though I'm way better off than a lot of people with what I've worked for in my own life. But we all have those struggles. We all go through the same thing. It's just important to practice gratitude and remind yourself that without the way you feel now, there would be no good times. I hope this helped a couple of you guys. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. Uh, and I appreciate you guys so much. Just know you're loved. I'm here for you. Be there for yourself too. Be your own friend. That's important. And learn mental stability. Learn mental control. Learn to appreciate even the bad times. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.